concept turn net buy so that is the fomo which i think would be at play for the market right now 28 points down on the nifty sensex down but the breadth i think is the most powerful point and the small cap index has already started uh, flying higher so markets are getting confident that flows are back fi's are back sellers are not there and go back to small and mid cap stocks more than any more than banks which is more like a trade waiting to start or index waiting to outperform i think it would be metals and psus which would be at least on my radar metals why because crude is stable global commodity prices have started coming back so metal index also made a new high couple of days ago so that rally i think is overdue then let's look at psus gale ongc the energy complex pfc rsc the power financiers and then all uh, the defense names just to establish a trend per se there not too many news makers but the ones which would be crucial you would want to look at let's say ifl finance you want to look at uh, paytm after that brokerage upgrade not too many news makers but that's about it in terms of the setting on the table absolutely um, you know just looking at some of those individual stocks like we've been flagging out pnb ntpc power grid paytm vip industries all the news makers from today but as a trend it's a lot more sedate a start this morning just want to see what the nifty bank is up to because that's also not really firing up a very very mild um, and flattish for the nifty bank as well as we speak the breadth though is clearly skewed in favor of the advances still that's the only green tick that i see on the screen right now or a meaningful one at that to be frank um there's also astrazeneca uh, they've got the cds a nod for import of one of the key drugs of theirs and the uh, a uh, distribution as well this thangamaya jewelry as well uh, which is looking to consider a fund raise and some equity share issuance as well or bonds perhaps um that's going to happen day after on september 26th uh this pandana surti as well or spurti i beg your pardon uh, which is looking to stress uh, to sell some of the stressed loans worth about 304 crore rupees to an erc that's an asset asset reconstruction company as we understand uh, to the tune of about almost 70 not crore rupees so a bunch of these names in focus this morning but kunal very sedate uh, mildly in the green even for the broader markets though they are relative outperformers any trend that you foresee playing out today and of course your first trades i think uh, you know generally we've seen that just on the expiry day is where the index uh, you know comes back to hit the strong psychological mark and you know we've seen uh, in the previously also that when the index was at 24000 25000 levels that on the expiry days where you see a, a fierce up move for the index so i'm expecting maybe one or two days of pause for the index before it moves up higher in terms of opening trade kotak bank is something which looks attractive the stock has given a confirmation of a breakout about that 1900 plus mark so it looks to be one of the other private sector banking names which could play a catch up All right, that's Kotak Bank for you, Kunal's top recommendation this morning or his first trade rather. Let's find out, Nuresh, what exactly you're picking up. So, looking at RBL Bank for a bounce back, the stock has made a good pace around the 200, 210 mark. Uh, good risk reward trade here for a bounce back. Uh, in the meantime, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.